It's a packed house at the Battle of Al. Many in expectation. Spain starting for the Spanish side. Icacacias will be in goal. Albiol comes into central defence with Gerard Pique, who plays for Barcelona. It will be David Villa and Fernando Torres up front. A fearsome strike partnership. Xabi Alonso will be in central midfield. Turkey, it's also change at the back for them. Emre Atsik and Hakan Bolta come into defence. Emre Bedelizoglu will be in midfield up front. Nihat Kaveci and Semi Senturk, who also played a major part at Euro 2008. Spain in a slight change of strip this evening. I wonder if that'll bring a change of fortune as Turkey get this classic encounter underway. Both very good footballing sides, so can expect plenty of attacking movements and plenty of delightful football on offer. Here's an early throw to Spain. Sergio Ramos, the Real Madrid right back. He's also been in good form of late. Spain with early possession as, as expected. They are firm favourites for this match. But one thing everyone learnt at Euro 2008 is that you can never count out Turkey. Turkey likely to sit back and try and hit the Spaniards on the counter, but when they do get the ball, they tend to keep it. Turkey, the other break now. It's Nihat. He's got some space in the box. It's Nihat. Well, the warning signs are there now for Spain too. Nihat, who's captaining the map for Turkey tonight. Mm can be very dangerous in those positions and Ike Casillas will be glad to see that one go wide at the post and without Carlos Puyol Spain looking a little shaky at the back there's a great ball from Tunchai indeed Ike Casillas even got a touch to that and that's why Nihat was asking for the corner and had he not got his fingertips to it Turkey may have taken the lead despite playing away from home the Turks looking good when they go forward this time the attack is snuffed out by Xavi well, you have to say Spain are looking nervous at the moment Maybe feeling the pressure of this massive crowd. Look at Gunnar with a throw into the box and Tuchai's done well. And it's another good shot on goal. It's a good save from Casillas. And that will be a corner for Turkey. Well, the Turks. Surprising the Spanish in these opening minutes. They had two good strikes on goal, and it's only this man that has kept the match scoreless. Tunchai did well to lay it off, and it was Semi Senturk who got the shot on goal in the end. Tunchai to whip in a corner. Yes, yes. It's all glove onto the ball. Well, we haven't seen Spain under this much pressure in a long time. The Turks taking the game to their opponents early on. Volkan Demiril, Fednabache, goalkeeper, did a very good job at Euro 2008. Semi Center just penalized there for looked to be an elbow in the head and perhaps lucky to escape the caution. Seen cards given for those kind of fouls before. Xavi. Well, he's done well to keep possession there. And he has Sergio Ramos to his right, but he opts to go left. 
Changing passes with Capavia. Di Real, left back, has been in very good form this season. Santa fell over, but the referee race play on. Turkey now had the chance to break. Mihat's made the run forward. But, as happens on so many occasions, Marcos Senna comes to the rescue, and it's Torres. Just couldn't get that vital touch to keep control. see before the excellent work that Marcos Senna does he gets back and tries to snuff out those counter attacks before they get started this is Xavi doing extremely well an intricate piece of skill to keep possession even though he's quite clearly being fouled Took the ball away there. Crowd not happy with that. To try trying to explain himself to the referee. Spain looking to build up from the back once more. I'll be off. Senna's lost possession in a dangerous area. And the Turan unable to launch the attack. I think the referee's given the foul in the end. Possibly a bit harsh. I think Senna has lost his balance. And here's Torres on the left. So it's Villa, in fact. And that is a handball and a free kick in a dangerous position now for Spain. Villa just trying to chip it forward, and it was Rokan Gunal who handled the ball. Plenty of bodies in the area for Turkey, though. Look like they far outnumber the Spanish. Looking Xavi to whip it in, or David Villa might even be looking at the goal from this distance. So it's going to be a rehearsed set piece. Xavi to whip it in. Turkey doing just enough to get the ball away. PK judged to a foul. Emmett Aurelio. It's all smiles from Fatih Derem and thumbs up. He's quite happy with what his side has produced so far in these 18, first 18 minutes. Turks again, Nihat. That's a good ball in for Tuntry. Good piece of defending by Xabi Alonso. Tracked him all the way. Looks to be Spain's most likely up until this point. He's been trying to spread the play, trying to launch the attacks. Will be Turkey with the corner. It's whipped into the back post. Torres and Ramos making sure there's no danger. Twenty-five minutes in, it's Spain nil, Turkey nil. Turkey so far, Turkey looking the more comfortable of the two sides. Here's Marcos Senna. Torres is keeping it in play. This is where he can be dangerous, running at defences. Ivanov has given the free kick there. The 
attacker from Ibrahim Utomet. Deputizing a left back tonight for Turkey. Vulcan just setting his wall up and perhaps this could be the opening Spain have been looking for. Xavi's over the ball. Got Capsola with him. It's Xavi. Again, the Turkish defence stands firm. But Torres has a little bit of space in the box and he's done well here for Nando Torres. But in the end, the Turks get it clear. And the danger passes. Spain looking to start again. But again, sometimes the pass is just a little bit wide of their target and the breakdown is Torres just trying to find space for a shot, but so many bodies in the area he was unable to do so. Senna. Also with Ramos. Turks putting some numbers in the Spanish air. Half and trying to win the ball back. Xavi. They are holding up play. Well read. Other Turkish. Other Turan. He's done well down this left hand side. Other. He's a player with superb talent. He showed that at Euro 2008 and he's continued his good form with Galatasaray this season. Combined well with Harry Kuehl at the Turkish club. Possession now for Turkey. Until Metz has made the run left. Almost just enough to keep it away, but Turkey hold on to possession. There's a chance to break now for Spain. Villa, he's got some space on the right, he can run. Adem Reatic. And it's Xavi, there's plenty of room now for Xavi, but he's been called offside. Didn't time his run correctly and Villa look for the through ball that looks like the correct decision. A fraction later with the run. Turkish defense pushing up. The first signs now that Spain can get forward and create. Xavi Alonso trying. Long ball again. Katsola switched to this right hand side. Looking for more joy. Senna. Xavi. He's peeled out wide again. It's Captavia. It's a good cross into Ramos, but he moves to Mets. Does enough to get it clear. Also just trying to thread the ball through. But again, as you can see, the Turkish defense putting two walls in front of that goal box. Okay, very difficult for Spain to get through. Ramos with Senna. It's a good deep cross to Abadia. The Spanish striker just claimed he received a little push there, but finally Spain have created a real goal-scoring opportunity 
It was an excellent ball to the back post, but again, the, the Turkish defence doing just enough. Tunchai getting back there to help out. It's very difficult for David Villa to get a, a clean header on goal, but it will be a corner for Spain. Xavi. Still with Xavi. That's a good ball in. And it's bobbled in the box, but no one able to get that final vital touch for Spain. And the pressure just eased now on the Turkish defence. Emre losing his boot in the process. Turkey doing just enough to keep Spain at bay. And finally signs that this Spanish attack is alive. The whistles are coming from the Spanish crowd. They're not happy with the way this team has performed in the first half. They've looked a little lackluster. Certainly more ex was expected from them. And here's a, a good chance now for Turkey. There's other Turan who made an excellent run into the box. And I just feel if he got a better touch on the ball it would have been in on goal Xavi Put over the top for Torres it's Fernando Torres well they've really relied on Torres and Avidia in this first half Spain Sort of shown you can't give him an inch. Luckily for Turkey, Volkan Demiril was watching it all the way. Demet Aurelia. And, you know, combining well. Nihat is, well, Nihat was all alone in the box and he was looking for that early ball. And disappointed with other. John is the will on the turn. He's just got a side of goal. And, and that happens to Fernando Torres. He will shoot. And Vulcan, who's been. And had too much work to do, was in the right frame of mind when called into action. Catalo, Xavi's got some room. That's uh, Mehmet Aurelio, as ever, comes to the rescue for the Turks. Very happy with his first half performance, standing in front of the defensive line. Xavi Alonso. Xavi. Again, the Turks just getting the foot in. Winning back possession. Nihat. Bursting forward again is Nihat. Semi Sento tried to play him in, but shut up PK read the play. That is half time, a disappointing first half for Spain, but Turkey have been tight at the back, have kept them at bay, and have actually looked the more likely in front of goal. At half time, it is Spain nil, Turkey nil. It was a disappointing first half for Spain. There would have been plenty of discussion in that dressing room at half time, but as yet, it doesn't seem to be any changes from either side. Fatih Terem will be very happy with how his team performed in that first half. 
We've heard they can really condense the space, made it difficult for the Spanish midfield to create. And in the end, probably should have gone into the half-time break, a goal up. And again, they started with gusto here, the Turks, Tunchai. Marcos Senna winning the ball, but in the end being fouled, semi Turk so he's picked up an injury. And the Spanish side do have a lot of firepower on the bench. I bet Yera of Liverpool would have to certainly be among them. And of course, Lorente, who's been in spectacular form for Villarreal this season. Tati Terum also has the, the opportunity to spring a surprise on from the bench. He's got the outrageously talented Kazim Kazim. He plays for Fenerbahce and already the substitutes are warming up for Spain. Del Bosque is known as an excellent man manager and he would have tried to inspire his team at halftime. This injury doesn't look good for Semi Senturk. Hopples off the pitch. It's been very lively in that first half, and it's something to think about for Fatih Terem. Spain sportingly give the ball back. The boss can leave him to think about at half time. As you said, he's got some firepower on the bench, including. Juan Mata. Been, uh, combined well with David Villa this season at Valencia. And of course, you have to mention David Silva, who's come into this match under an injury cloud. But how long will De Bosque wait before he decides to bring on the creative midfielder? A lovely touch of Fernando Torres to cut the Villa. He's done well to get the better of the defender, and it's a good ball to the back post. Santi Catola, in fact, with the cross, and Sergio Ramos was steaming in with the header. Catola, who's probably didn't have the best of first half, so started well in the second, and Ramos was just trying to put it back across goal. Turkey winning the ball in a good position. Here's Tunchai in the box. Oh, a shot from a tight angle from Tunchai that certainly put Casillas' goal on notice. We've just seen that on occasions where the Turks look to pressure Spain in their own half and win the ball and have that shot on goal. Really dangerous signs for the Spaniards. Only had to be a magnificent shot for it to hit the target. V is in the box out. Just when either Villa or Torres do get in the box, the, the support seems to be coming very late. Turkey always have enough at the back as Ayan Akman prepares to come on for the Turks. He'll add some more defensive steel if they needed it. And it will be uh, semi Turk who suffered that injury early in the second half. So it's a cautious substitution from Fatih Terem. He's taking off one of his strikers for basically a, a defensive midfielder in Ayan Akman. Certainly had a lot of bite to the centre of midfield, Dayan. Another teammate of Harry Kuehl's at Galatasaray. Tuchai's really been battling in this second half and looking lively as well. 
Well, if he was encouraged by the first half, who will certainly be by the second. In fact, you have to think Turkey would have been dominating possession. Certainly had the more useful use of it. Pepe Reina looking a little nervous on the bench. Liverpool goalkeeper. Here's Alaturan for Turkey. Mehmet Aurelio, Gunal getting forward again. They've got some bodies in the box. That looked like a dangerous deep cross, but just too high. And Casillas cleans up. Both teams would have been encouraged by the result in Belgium where the Belgians lost 4-2 against Bosnia. A point for Turkey here would certainly be something special, even though they haven't performed to their potential as yet. Spain will probably be happy with the point as well. Certainly keep them on top of on top of the group. Four points from the Turks. And don't forget we'll have live, more live 2010 FIFA World Cup qualifying action on Thursday morning. Italy versus the Republic of Ireland, live from 5.30 a.m. Eastern. Set to be a mouth-watering encounter with Italy taking on Ireland, but it is Fernando Torres has been fouled just outside the box, and the chance now for Spain to get something on target. Set to do have a very good free kick taker in Xavi, and this is his kind of range. down by Mehmet Aurelio. And though Torres really didn't seem like he was going anywhere with the ball. Dangerous set piece for Spain. Xavi, he's decided to cross it and Fernando Torres has put Spain into the lead. Sorry, Gerard Pique in fact, who got the last touch on the ball. And against the run of play, you'd have to say Spain have taken the lead to the delight of the Bernabeu. Well, it almost came from nothing. And Pique just working on the back post. And Vulcan got a hand to it, but wasn't enough to keep it out. It was a dangerous cross to the back post from Xavi. Ramos looked to be onside and, well, it was certainly an unintentional assist from the Real Madrid defender. And it was the Barcelona central defender who struck it home. It's the Barca boy who's Got the Bernabeu on their feet. Certainly that doesn't happen often. And now Spain with a spring in their step. Here's Sergio Ramos. Cazol has made the run into the back post. In the end, the attack breaking down. Certainly lifted the spirits of the home crowd, that goal. Turkey will certainly feel hard done by that. Worked so hard. They've looked the more dangerous of the two sides and they really suffered a sucker punch there. Just wonder now if the Spanish attack will swing into gear. The beautiful football they're famous for. I thought the pressure's a little off. 
The Oles are coming from the crowd. Well, it was poor marking from the Turks, something we haven't seen all match. They gave Sadio Ramos some room. But in the end, it was a very unintentional assist, just bouncing off his thigh. Nice touch from Marco Senna. No foul given there by Ivanov, and Turkey have the chance to break, but Spain have pushed a few bodies forward, and the space in midfield is very small now. Gunnel. Ayan Akman's made the run forward. Took a ball for Tanche in the box, surrounded by Spanish defenders. He's done well to get it back. This cross is to just improve for the Turks if they're going to get the goal now. Torres is proving a menace in that final third of the Turkish half. We saw him do it against Manchester United. Not that Xavi. Ramos comes forward. Captavia checks his run though. He's got Torres and Xavi in the box. retaining possession. Senna. Alonso. A good run from Xavi. Pull back was aiming for Torres and Mata who pulled it back in fact. Getting behind their side now. Nihat is just brought down. Turkish captain claiming it was a foul, but even of waving play on. Mata, plenty of room on this left hand side. He's got Torres in the middle. Juan Mata. Akan Balta stood firm. Amreatic, in fact, who got the ball away. And Mata certainly proving an effective substitute. Great play from Tunchai. He's lost out in a dangerous position there. Torres. Senna. Ramos coming forward again. Trying to pick out Torres. Again, it had to be inch perfect. Well, it seems everything is going against the Turks at the moment. And finally, Fatih Terem will make the change. It will be Gokan Unal to come on. They have to take one of his midfielders off. He's really flooded that part of the field with more defensive-minded players. Senna now for Spain. Ramos. Xabi Alonso. Xavi. Well, the danger for the Turks is if they do start pushing players forward, they will be punished by the Spaniards as they also look to make a change, and it will be David Silva. And that won't be the greatest sight for the Turkish side. Certainly has the ability to unlock defences with a, a intricate pass or a mazy run. Joy for the Spanish fans and for Gerard Pique. And of course, Xavi. Uh, 
Well, he's got a lot to shout about at the moment. Pepe Reina, his national team's up 1-0, and Liverpool still in the hunt for the title as David Silva makes his way onto the pitch. Replacing Santi Cazzolo, and, well, this is an interesting change. He's taken off other Turan, who you would think he'd want to keep on in a situation like this, but perhaps he's just suffered a bit of a knock, and he is replaced by Gukan Unal. An interesting change. He has basically swapped an attacker for an attacker, so... Still not risking too much Fatih Terem, but how long can he do that for? Spain getting more room to counter now. And they have looked dangerous on occasions. Davi Silva, Ramos continuing to get forward. Silva's got some space on the edge. Davi Silva! In the few minutes he's been on, he's shown what Spain has been missing. The bomb well with Ramos and unleashed the shot inches over the bar. The warning signs are there for Turkey that if they do push a number of players forward, they risk conceding on the counter. Ramos has certainly shown his athleticism tonight. He's been up and down that line all match. Even being a goal up, he's continued to get forward. Spanish hierarchy watching on. It's amazing. Well, there's a chance now in the box. Torres is in there. And Xabi Alonso with the shot from just outside the area. Vulcan beating it away, but it's still with Mata. Torres. It's an acrobatic attempt from Sadio Ramos, but he was offside. Xabi Alonso unleashed a powerful shot on goal. Through the acrobatics of Sadio Ramos. Great cutback from David Silva. Xabi Alonso lurking on the edge of the area, and that ball swerved immensely. Volkan just got the glove to it. Three minutes for Turkey to find an equaliser. And it's looking very unlikely at this point. As Xabi comes forward. Silva's made the run through the middle, but it's Sergio Ramos on the right. He's done well to get the better, he's missed, Sergio Ramos! Well, it's the first time tonight he's cut inside and he certainly took the defender by surprise. It's certainly worth a shot on goal. So he's been one of Spain's best players tonight, Sergio Ramos. Bang with almost everyone back now and Turkey just seemed to have run out of puff. They battled hard throughout the 90 minutes, but they had a few good chances. Just couldn't find the opening. Couldn't get the better of Casillas. And it is Spain who take all three points at the Bernabeu. It was a disappointing first half for the home side, but they came out with renewed vigor in the second. And it was Gerard Pique who tucked away the goal in the 59th minute to give Spain all three points. At the Bernabeu, it's Spain 1, Turkey 0.